What's up guys? As you are seeing this right now, I will be in Vegas on my bachelor party and uh, I'm definitely not prepared. One second. <laughs> there we go. Way better. Look at this shirt. Yeah, bachelor party and to be really clever, marriage is coming. Come on. You can't beat Winter this. Winter is coming. Yeah, and also if you want to, you know, contribute to my drink and steak dinner. There you go. You got it. Anyways, today I wanted to do a really quick video on how to make your photos pop. A really simple way that you actually might be doing, but I'm gonna try and show you a couple of extra tips and tricks to uh, get in there and make them really stand out. So it's gonna be a really fast video, so let's skip the intro, dive right into Lightroom, and get started. Okay, here we are in Lightroom, and I forgot if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Will Simpson, welcome to Exploring Photography. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers by hitting that subscribe button. So here's this picture I just did of this maternity shoot, and I really like this picture. It's really sweet and super cute. Now we could simply go ahead and pop on a preset and these are my light and airy presets that work really good with shots like this. And we're gonna go ahead and click number six. It, it makes it kind of bright and airy, but it gives them really nice skin tones. Now you could say one and done, there we go, there's the photo. But with, but with Lightroom's new masking features, there's so much more you can do to this image. So we can see a real big difference. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on this and create a virtual copy. The reason I'm making this virtual copy is because after we do these adjustments, the before and after will show the before the adjustments, not the raw photo. So that way you can really see the difference. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do all local adjustments. The first one we're gonna add is a linear gradient. So click the linear gradient and we're going to pull it all the way up until that edge of the water line where we start to see the feathering. Then we're gonna lower the exposure and you'll notice how it immediately pulls your attention from the bottom of the bottom. I cannot talk today. Oh, I'm trying to go fast and it's just not working. Okay, so you'll notice that it pulls the attention from the bottom of the image into the actual image as a whole. So this immediately makes a big difference. It also enhances those reflections, makes the sand look wet as it is, but it makes it look more real. The next mask we're gonna do is the radial gradient and we're gonna make this big. We're gonna set this right where the sun would be. Then we're gonna increase the exposure. We're gonna create, increase the warmth and the magenta. And then we're also gonna lower the clarity. So this is gonna create a glowing look and a warm, like the sun is just blowing up. But we don't want it covering the subjects. So we're gonna click the minus sign here and let me make this bigger so you can see, there we go. Click the subtract and subtract select subject. So this will pull this entire mask away from the subject. See, it's affecting all of that area there and none of the subject, perfect. The next one we're gonna do is click select subject and we're going to brighten them up a little. Then we're gonna add a little bit of contrast, a little bit of clarity, and this is gonna make them just kind of pop off the screen a little. Add a little bit of blacks, raise the whites a little and just adjust them. Then to give them that orangey glow, raise the warmth just a little bit and that's gonna make a big difference. So let's zoom in here and I'll show you the difference between what we did with them. So here is the before, and after of that mask. It just makes them pop off the screen just a shade more. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Okay, good. And then if you wanna get even more in depth, we click the mask again, we go create new mask and create a brush, and then we find the dark areas and we just brush the dark areas, even the water waves here. And this will just do a little bit of burning. We don't want her knee there. Good, and just make this much smaller. There we go, good. And then we're just going to lower the exposure just a bit. And you notice a big difference there that creates an incredible amount of depth in the image. Then you could do another brush and you could do this on the light parts. So let's do this here. And I always have auto mask selected because it makes this so much faster. I could put a little bit on the top of this foam here. And let's just raise that exposure just a bit. Not too much, you don't wanna do terribly much. Let's click on the burn one again and add a little bit here. Cause there's a little bit of wave, I think we did. Yep, there we go, good. Okay, good, and that's it. That right there made this image pop so much more. Here's the before, here's the after. Before, after. I mean, that is incredible. And that might be a little too much for your liking, but using these local adjustments and, and allowing you to really fine tune where you put the contrast and the whites and the darks and the lights and all of that stuff makes a huge difference in your image. So 
edit the photo, but then spend time doing the local adjustments. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I'm in Vegas right now, so wish me luck, <laughs> and I'll see you guys when I get back. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, comment, let me know what's happening. If you wanna support my bachelor party, this is the Cash App and Venmo. I'll also put it in the description of the video, and I'll see you guys next week. Wish me luck in Vegas.